Hey YouTube, this is your girl Amber Gonzalez from the channel Siempre Ambi TV. Bienvenido a mi canal. Today, I'm excited to do this video for you guys. Seven different ways to learn a new language without taking classes. Before we get into the video, I want to let you guys know that I have created a six-week course, Spanish for Beginners, for you all that are trying to learn the Spanish language. This course includes several worksheets, a packet, and also six audio files. And even at the end of your course, you're going to take an over-the-phone assessment and then a certificate of completion so this is awesome I've never created a course like this before I'm so excited to share it with you guys you all know I genuinely love helping you guys learn different languages and just help you I've had so many students work with me in the past and they've been able to obtain a bilingual job the course will be beginning on September 16th that is next Monday that's in three days so if you have not gotten your six week course packet do so the link is in the description box I'm having a launch sale so because the course is launching in three days you guys will be able to take advantage of the half off discount for this weekend only after that the prices will resume to regular cost I mean it took me a while to put this whole thing together I created worksheets for you you guys audio files etc so it's gonna be really great and this course is for you guys that are busy that have busy schedules you want to be able to communicate with spanish-speaking people this course is for you I will not let you down so let's go ahead and get into the video so seven different ways to learn a new language let's start with number one phone apps yes Apps. Okay, so if you are learning a new language and you have not downloaded a language app, there are so many language apps out there that have crossword puzzle, have games, have a matchmaker, or word matches, those type of things. My daughters even use like a cartoon app to learn Chinese and it's really cool and it's games, they're able to make puzzles, they're able to play little kitty games and at the same time they're learning Mandarin. So that's pretty cool and you guys know so many Spanish apps out there. Number two, now a lot of you guys probably are already aware of this, but television, watching TV, yes guys, watching novelas, uh, Korean dramas, your TV soap operas in Russian, all of that definitely contributes to language learning. This is a great way to learn a new language by watching TV programs in that language. Now this is something I get all the time. People always want to know, should I put subtitles, yes or no? Well, obviously, in the beginning, you want to put subtitles because you don't know anything in the language. In the beginning, of course, put subtitles in English. However, once you advance in the language, you want to eventually switch from English subtitles into the target language that you're watching. So, for example, if you're watching Telemundo and you're watching a Spanish soap opera, you want the subtitles to eventually be in Spanish subtitles. But that's after you get to a certain level. Number three, numero tres, music. Music is a great way to learn a new language. Rather you like singing, rather you like dancing, or you just enjoy listening to music as you clean the house or wash dishes, whatever. Now why do I say music? Because we all know when we hear a song or a tune that's very catchy and upbeat, we literally remember the words, the lyrics, word for word, right? So if you could do that in another language, just imagine if you're learning German and you're listening to German music, like, if you find that German song that you really can rock with, you can groove with, you're going to be memorizing all the words to the song, just like you do in your native tongue. And that's great because you'll end up learning new vocabulary words. Number four, reading. Guys, reading is a great way to learn a new language because you're able to learn new vocabulary. So as you guys know, I speak six languages. Well, I speak five and I'm working on my sixth language right now, which is German. So when I first started this language learning journey years ago, like 15 years ago, I wasn't really a big reader. As I keep learning different languages, I'm constantly discovering new ways to, uh, to learn a language. So definitely reading, I recommend that. This is a Korean book here that I bought in South Korea. And it's a kid's book, obviously, right? And this is a great way for me to learn new vocabulary. So sometimes I'll just sit and I'll highlight words that I don't know. So yes, the book is all in Hangul, it's in Korean language, but I learned how to read Korean years ago. So 
it's easy to read Korean. However, I do come across new vocabulary words that I don't know, and that's all in a kid's book. So if you're a beginner in a language, you definitely want to start off with kid books. Believe it or not, guys, you're going to always come across words that you did not know, okay? And of course, as you advance, you want to eventually start reading books that are more intermediate level or advanced level. So like novels, romantic books, or com comic books, whatever it is that you're interested in, uh, science, etc but make sure you get the books in that language so another great way to learn a language number five is language exchange online or online language exchange you guys know i have been a strong advocate for hello talk i talky you guys are able to communicate with native speakers that are living in their country and it's a language exchange they're willing to talk their native language with you in exchange for you talking english with them i've had students tell me that they had trouble switching into the other language with language partners because sometimes they only want to speak english well that's not fair right so how I always start with my language partners is before we even start the video chat or the phone call or the voice messaging, I let them know, hey, let's do 20 minutes of practice today or 30 minutes or one hour, whatever you have time for. And I'll say, okay, we'll do 20 minutes in English so that you'll practice. And then I want to do 20 minutes in Mandarin so that I can practice. That's how you do an even trade. Online language exchange, do not sleep on it. That actually is my best tip for learning a new language. That's probably the most effective because you're actually practicing and you're practicing with native people, right? So that kind of ties into number six. A great way to learn a new language is meetup groups. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with meetup.com. I think it's .com. But years ago, I used to be on meetup.com. And what you do is you type in your zip code. And it's going to bring up a whole list of different meetups going on in your town, in your city, or just in your state. You can even choose the mileage. So if you're looking for meetups within a 100-mile radius or a 10-mile radius, you can choose that as well. I recommend at least... 30 miles because I don't know about you, but I'm willing to travel 30 miles just to meet up with other people that are speaking Chinese. But that's just me. I'm a nerd. Well, I know for a fact Spanish meetup groups are in every single state. French, you have Mandarin, Korean. Those are common meetup language exchange groups that are usually in every state. So if you're in the United States, I'm not sure if meetup.com expands all the way to the UK or South America, wherever you guys are located in the world watching this video, but definitely check out meetup.com. It's an excellent way to just network with other people that are learning the language. And usually during those meetups, you guys are talking in that language because everyone's there for the purpose of practicing the language. So that's definitely a great way to learn a new language. And last but not least, traveling. Now you guys know I was going to say traveling, right? Traveling abroad is a great way to learn a new language because not only do you get to see the culture and experience the people, but you actually get to be immersed in the language because if you're learning French, if you decide to travel to Paris for one week, all you're going to hear is French everywhere you go. But of course, I recommend staying in the local areas. Try to stay away from tourist areas. Two reasons. It's more expensive. Second reason, because people are going to just naturally talk to you in English because they can. You have to get out of your comfort zone. That's the only way that you're going to advance, become fluent, be able to communicate, etc. So those are my seven different ways how to learn a new language. And also, if you're interested, I did write an ebook on 30 different ways to learn a new language. So make sure you guys download that and check that out. And if you are a new learner in the Spanish language, hopefully I'll see you in my six-week course starting next week. Eso es todo. Muchas gracias por ver este video y adiós. Hello, I'm Amber Gonzalez from the six-week course, Spanish for Beginners. Welcome to ambimethod.com. I'm pleased to share this course with you all that are trying to learn the Spanish language. So what's included in this course? You will receive six video lessons, six worksheets that you must complete, six audio files, and you even receive your very own personal over-the-phone assessment upon completion of the course. So depending on how you pass that assessment, you will receive your certificate of completion. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you taking my course. Now, what will you be able to do after completing this course? You will